Morning, morning. Davy La. What's going on? Am I coming through loud and clear? Loud and clear, bruv. Am I coming in your ears? <laughs> in full effect. Yeah. It was like PK that, wasn't it? Yeah. Coming in your ears. Uh, uh, new car day, mate. New car day? I know. Well, barn find car day, so I'm not going to be able to drive it. Oh. Which is no different to any other car I buy. <laughs> Another broken one. Another broken one. So, how about we load some bits in a van, take a little road trap, and... Um, Go and dig it out because it's barn find, yo. Let's do it. So, right, smash through the buttons. Nope, smash through the intro, then smash the buttons, and I'll see you on the other side. We're in the van, Dabla. Where are we going? Get. Yeah. Carla, sense of humour. <laughs> Can't be a long way for that. <laughs> <laughs> we go for a drive. <laughs> a very wet drive. Yeah, to get. Chucking it down. A barn find. Well, you say barn find, it's not a barn. It's in a, it's in a garage. But a garage. Sounds fancy when you say barn find. It does. So, it's been there six, seven years, been parked up. So let's go and get this journey knocked out and see what's what. Let's do it. Well, we better take some fresh fuel. Weather's improved. Yeah. You need the bobolat today. Hey, honestly. <laughs> Keep an eye on our web shop. Got new bobolats coming. Hey, that was seamless. Oh, uh, honestly, mate, Love it's it. good. Greg, you've got a massive ball bag. Apparently, we've arrived. We have arrived. And it's still raining. And it's wet. And I'm wet. But, and it's miserable. I can see garages. Yes. And behind one of the doors is a car we have come to look at. So if you're an avid viewer, you will know exactly what we've come to look at. But for those of you, I'm gonna make you guess or wait till the end when we show you. <laughs> so, let's do it. Should we have a look? Let's get wet. Dude. Hello, very wet. <laughs> Rick won't get out the van. <laughs> Do one. <laughs> <laughs> this is your good time with today. Oi! Come on! What? Get out! A big puddle. Mind that? I'll drown in that. Fucking <laughs> hell, I will drown in that. <laughs> right. Right, we'll just get under here. Not enough room. Right. That's horrible. Hey? Ooh, the glamorous YouTube life. Mm. Should have done this in summer. Mm. It was warm. And then we could have complained about how hot it was <laughs> while we were doing it. Right, should we uh, get a key or whatever it is we need to do? Yeah, get inside. Yeah, good A shout. garage. Yeah, very wet. I'm glad I brought Carl. I haven't got to stand in the rain now. Mm. Oh! It is in the puddle of moisture. A light. Whee! Whee! We have loadings and an engine crane. That's better than my one. Is that a pit? <laughs> oh, what's that? Wet carpet. Well, it's just wet. I don't know where to stand. Mate, you can see the badge. If you step in the right. puddle to look at the badge. Come on, look. Very much. Nice. Ooh. I stand like this. What do we think? It's white. So the roof leaks into the tarpaulin, yeah. which is catching it all, which drains it into the bucket, which has a hose pipe coming out the side of it into the drain. Look at that. But, because it's so bad, then it leaks in anyway. <laughs> it leaks back that in. That is genius. <laughs> Mitch should do this in our workshop. Mm. Mitch should build himself a self-draining leak catcher. It's just too wet, Dav. Okay. I think I think we'll have to uh we'll park it sit, time I think well let's let's see if this rain dies down a little bit, see if we can drag it out in a bit, because 
we're going to trudge through all this water in here or we're going to get soaking wet out here so let's um let's see if the rain blows over and then have, have another go because i want to take the plugs out turn it over fill the bores of oil we've got fresh fuel to go in it a new battery you know we brought bits and pieces to get it fired up but the whole point of it is the car hasn't been wet for yeah. years and i don't want to have to drag it out in this because that is a miserable Right, so, let's do it. I know. Weather's so inconvenient for YouTube, I tell you. <laughs> right, we've abandoned ship. We have. And now we're going down the world's tightest driveway in the van. <laughs> Carl's touching my butt, trying to do his seatbelt up. Well, it is a quiet one. You've got to watch, Dav. <laughs> you know you're in tight space when your parking sensors are beeping. Just go forwards. <laughs> Oh. Hello, Keglev! Hello, Keglev! <laughs> yeah, this is where I pull out in front of the car and write the van <laughs> off. <laughs> so, yeah, the idea was to turn up, pull the plugs, put oil down the bores, turn it over by hand, put battery in it, put fresh fuel on it, see if it starts, pump the tyres up, try and get it out so we can have a good look around it. but. The garage has obviously got a leak in the roof, so the floor of the garage is a puddle and then outside, as you can see it. So I don't really want to pull a car out that's been dry stored for six, seven years. Um, and what? the first time I get it out in, is into the rain. Um, so I don't want to do that. And, but also as well, we've got to work on it. And, you, you know, my feet are already soaking wet and I haven't even stood in anything. <laughs> so... I think we'll rethink the plan. Yes. And I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, mate. One day later. Right. <laughs> Round two. Round two. Let's leave. Stop. I'm starving. It stopped raining. It's dry. Yeah. Look, this is good old fashioned racing weather. So was the rain yesterday, to be fair. Yeah. If you can't race in the rain, then you're shit at racing. But. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. I know nothing. Oh. <laughs> I know <laughs> nothing. I learn it from a book. That was such a good TV program. I speak English well. I learn it from a book. I'm hungry. I've gone delirious. Delirious? Delirious. Is that like a cross between <laughs> hilarious <laughs> and delirious? That was an Eddie Murphy uh, <laughs> yeah. stand up. Yeah. Right. I'd look good in a purple suit. <laughs> Team colours and all, eh? Right. right, we're going somewhere to look at a car that hopefully isn't submerged in water again. <laughs> it is like the UK version of Tavrish's P1. <laughs> Flood find, not barn find. We're back in the narrow driveway. Oh, long I'll drive that. Afternoon. <laughs> a bit tight down there. A little bit. Little bit. Team are here. <laughs> we have arrived. <laughs> what we got? Uh, a door lock. It's done with a central locking motor. Because using a door handle is just so hard this day and age. <laughs> Do you know what it is, mate? It's Honda owners. It's dry today, so we have returned. We're back. We are. My feet are dry. I wore two pairs of socks just in case. And I brought a load of knobheads to help me. Hey! <laughs> so, let's get the gate back open. Let's wade through the pool. And we're going to pull it out and have a look. I'm going to pull it out. So to speak. Yeah. Let's Love do it. it. Let's do it. Come on, Carl. Seized. Not been open for so long. Since yesterday. <laughs> Great success. Ah! Oh, oh God. Oh, oh, oh. oh, it smells! <laughs> oh, even, it's all, yeah, it's all wet and there as well. Okay. Is this, is this... Oh, you know you thought it was rusty. It's not rusty, it's not <laughs> Should we try and push it like that? Bing, bing! Just in case. <laughs> it's too wet in here to catch fire. Oh, that is not great for I used to, when I was little, like five or six, on the weekends, we used to go, she's called Nanny Murpher, and she lived in Murpher, funny enough, hence the name. 
And we used to go up there, and she had outdoor toilets. She lived up in the valleys, up in Troy de Rue in Murphy. And the toilet smelt like this, because it was an outdoor toilet. <laughs> and I remember being like six years old, up there in the freezing cold, with an old like roadside warning light as a light. Honestly, I used to, I used to love going up there, but going to the toilet was horrible. <laughs> Grab a wheel. It's going. Oh. Is that water or bushes? I can, I can, hear. I can hear water. You've yeah. got a fair lip to get up here at the front, guys. Oh, we need to... right. We'll be back after this commercial break. We got there, Rick. Um. Well, it's number two of Fast Car Magazine. No way, mate. This is like vintage porn. Could you imagine owning number two of Playboy? It'd be worth a lot of money. Right? So, we were just flicking through it. Here you go. If anyone knows the year, right, we'll sort you out a prize. We think we know what it is, but it tells us the publishing company's limited, limited year, not the year this was printed. Right? So, fiber sports body kits, right? So here we go. Mate, what was it? The tip, where's the tail? There you go. Turbo tail, pre-assembled, bolt on, supplied in black, can be sprayed, fits Capri 2 and 3. 68 pounds. Bargain. 68 pounds. That is the high, is the stereos this advertising. Mate. None of this Apple play shit. I remember Sexton's back in the day. Right. Back when phone numbers didn't have the one in them. What's that? Mercedes 190 front spoiler, 102 pound. Look, it's rip speed. That's when it was rip speed before it sold to Halfords. This was the other bit, right? So done a technical on uh, overhauling Weber carbs, right? Like properly overhauling Weber carbs, yeah. yeah. And what was the bit I just found on Flowbench? They actually show you how you work a Flowbench. That's cool. More stocks, minis and more. Mini Sport, I remember them. Yeah. Pinto pointers, how to tune your Pinto engine. It's, you two, you can, two can find love. Join in Dateline. <laughs> what? Hey. Free computer test to find your ideal partner. I am over 17 and would like you to send me completely free and without obligation, a description of my ideal partner. Plus a free colour brochure. Of course. And lots more inf information about Dateline. Start here. Do you consider yourself shy? Yes. Uh, uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> Extrovert. Adventurous. Family type. Cloves conscious. Definitely not you. <laughs> Generous. Outdoor type. Creative. Practical and intelligent. Indicate which activities and interests you are placing a one in the appropriate box if you dislike a particular activity, write a zero or naught. Pop music, fashion, pubs, sport, pets, folk music, folk music. <laughs> Not a fan of music at all. <laughs> Jazz, traveling, cinema, good food, politics, classical music, art literature, life fear, science or technology, creative writing, poetry. That is right up your street, mate. Love a bit of poetry. I once knew a lad called Carl. Why is this about me anyway? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Philosophy, history, conversation. That conversation. is a naught for you. <laughs> I'm not looking for love. Your sex, your height, your age. Would you like to meet Christian name, surname, nationality, occupation, religion, centre dateline. Champagne and roses. Bob and Anne from Devon. If you're still together, drop us a message. <laughs> A practical joke played on a girl in her office led to Anne, a 45-year-old divorcee. Why the fuck would a 45-year-old divorcee be reading Fast Car? <laughs> She's the girl to meet, isn't she? <laughs> I love a dimmer kit on my, on my, my 205. <laughs> Fantastic. What we got here? Some Banzai's? Evo. Oh, yeah. That does look like your car. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mine's better. Uh, no, if anyone could give me a carbon bonnet, that'd be much appreciated. But... Wouldn't have been carbon back then, mate. Yeah. More Banzai's? Banzai's. That's, that's real carbon, is it? What age is that one? Oh, revs. <laughs> yeah. I forgot I even revs. existed, to be honest. Oh no. oh, no, this is a fairly new one. Banzai oh. was it, mate. De-restricted. What's this? We try out something for nothing. Air filter swap. For better breathing on a Fiesta day. 950. 
We have completely missed the point of why we've come here. <laughs> we've, we've got slightly Everybody. distracted. I, I did pump the tyres up, but they're probably yeah. flat again by now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but when is this one? January 2003, right? It is. Paul Lane thought he was finished, then he watched Fast and Furious and went crazy on his saxo. But the best bit is, Paul's gorgeous girlfriend Sophie was on hand to drape herself over this class cruiser. Apparently she's sporting some 36D lady lump. You would not get away with this today. <laughs> Never. When did that stop? Because like, this feels wrong reading this, if I'm honest. Here you go, Rick. You should get into modifying now. This could be you. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> Honestly, I used to sit there and buy sh out of these for my yeah. cars. The adverts made up half the, the mag. They were, it's pre-internet, dude. There we go, Civic West Avenger kit. Where was it? Who's got that one where there was like a GT4 Celica coupe for sale and it was like three grand? What have we got here then? BMW 325i E30 shape, four and a half grand. VTR, six grand. Mate, six grand. I used to buy them for 500 quid. Yeah, I know. Imagine how like much of it was, that's like missions to sell a car back then, isn't it? <laughs> Having a <laughs> door of that. A yeah. yeah, but then you had to do tech speak. So I don't know, let's. One that's just loads and loads of acronyms. No matter what oh, here we is. go. Toyota Celica GTI, 1100 quid. Toyota Celica 2 litre GTI, 16 valve, 78k miles. 12 months MOT, new exhaust, G reg. Well, here's a difference between us. I don't really remember that. Oh, there you go. Do you remember when they used to put them next to each other? So you had the kits and the wheels? Yeah, I do. So I used to write the feature. All right. <laughs> oh, you never like sit there like circling everything you wanted. Like. No. <laughs> right, should we uh, get on with get the job? Yeah. The that uh, metal bottle down here. What? And spiders about Yeah, lots of spiders. Motel? Yeah. Gets everywhere. <laughs> 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 How did that get here? <laughs> What's the TZ? Blitz, isn't it? Oh, it's I can't right. see the blitz. <laughs> <laughs> From here it's just... <laughs> right, Carl, oh. put a bit of opposite lock on, we're going to roll back a bit. Right, ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ugh, come on. Come back. Come on. 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 Come on.
looks not bad inside. Mate, men. I have a rag, a hammer, a removable nos ball. Is that the last? I wonder if that oh. is the last time. 2008, February 2008. Alloy tax disc holder. Yeah. Mismo badge. Yeah, brake disc worn, pitted. So brake discs, tie rods. Yeah, last MOT was uh, 2018. There we go. Uh, I want to pull the plugs, put oil down the cylinders, see if we can turn it over by hand, put a battery in it, and I want to drain the oil out as well before we even crank her over. And I've got fresh fuel. I like the... Uh, the mod on the fan. Yeah. Yeah. To clear the boost pipe. All for booting. What are we saying then, chaps? It's interesting, isn't it? He's going to have his work cut out, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> I know what Rick's like. Yes. You know what Rick's like. Yes. Is anybody thinking like Noble Mark II? <laughs> <laughs> I can see it all happening again. <laughs> see what it's like we get under it, I suppose. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Lightning can't strike twice, surely. Oh, it can. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So do you reckon it's got a decent uh, history, Carl? I think it's all right, yeah. Mm. Yeah. I came out a few years ago. Had a camp a few years ago, yeah. do it? Yeah, he'll be alright. Alright. A few days. He knows a lot about this, doesn't he? He, he does seem to know quite yeah. a lot about these cars, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. 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 Especially this one. How many things, Andrea, I can aqua blast? <laughs> blast away. Yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that a good thing? <laughs> right. So if we get intake pipe off then, get the plugs out. They have supplied me with the wrong battery, which doesn't surprise me at all, being fair for the um, Brexit car parts company we bought it off. <laughs> Can't supply anything, right? So it doesn't fit in there, so we'll see if we, have you. we can um, just do it yeah. as is for now. Yeah. yeah, I need to measure out the space really, because it's a little tiny space that lives it's there. It's not big, is it? All right, you. Of course, you sound like the missus. <laughs> <laughs> Green. What have we got? Some toys. Some iridium spark plugs. No, platinum, not iridium. Can't read. <laughs> <laughs> and a greedy boost controller. Comes with extras. Old school, that is. Nice. Isn't it? There was none on the gauge. Is that? So, yeah, how many owners has it got? Like it had one owner in Japan. Yeah, do you know what I mean? It's not cool, so we'll do, we'll do that when everything's here. One owner since it's been uh, in the UK. So in the we can leave all that off. Oh, no, it's got coal in it, so you've got to yeah. sit that back yeah. on. Right, let's pull the plugs out. I wonder when the cam belt was done last. Probably a couple of years ago. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't leave your cam belt, mate. No, I know. You've probably got that, haven't you? Pretty long than that, actually. I wonder if it does burnouts as it as it's an auto. It does. It does well. You seem to know a lot about this car. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna say it or am I gonna say it? Come on. <laughs> so the reason I know a lot about this is because it's my dad's car. <laughs> 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 yeah, we've made it out like we've driven like across the end of the earth to get here. We are 0.4 of a mile from work. <laughs> it is a legit barn find, though. Oh, yeah, look, look Mate, that is comes. worse than a barn. It has been Honestly, for a long time. barns are normally dry, <laughs> for starters. My you, shoes are still wet from yesterday. You can tell it's been sat for a long time. At least it's that damp, the mice didn't want to eat anything in there. I just want it to go. It'd be fun. It's been started. You did the cam out, so it'll probably go. Comedy. What a joker. Tiny little core, isn't they? Yeah, short one. Is that hinged? Might be. Cheeky. 
have been sat in there for like five years. Right. Well, I got it out five years ago and done the cam out and some other bits and got it for an MOT because my dad said he was going to put it back on the road and then it went back in the garage and, back <laughs> <in there. laughs> and never got used again. So did you do many miles on it yourself? No. A couple of thousand probably in the last oh, okay. 20 years. <laughs> when was the last time this actually was driven? Saw action. Five years ago. About five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. There might have been a burnout in the... Uh, a small burnout. How was it driven five years ago? <laughs> Enter clip here. So what's the spec on these then, Carl? Power-wise, they're about 250 brake? 250 stock, yeah. Yep. Um, I mean, it's got a couple of bits. It's got DCAT. Yep. Um, well, it's got full exhaust, apart from manifold, induction kit. It was running a greedy boost controller, but I was going to say, I've got a greedy boost yeah, control valve over here. Back to stock at the minute. Yep. So it's probably like, I don't know, 270 maybe. Yep. It's got a big intercooler on it. So, the difference but to the GTR then, obviously, it's not got the, the wide arches on it. Yeah, the back end of these is slimmer. Um, obviously, it's an RB25, not a 26. Yep. That you would get in GTR. Single turbo, not twin turbo. Rear wheel drive instead of four wheel drive. Obviously this one's auto as well, but I think Rick wants to convert it to manual at some point. Yep. But I would say it's essentially it's mostly the same as a GTR. Um, <laughs> You're going to get the comments kicking off there yeah, People might disagree. <laughs> You're in trouble now, <laughs> mate. <laughs> it's pretty much the same car, I and mean, it's a lot cheaper it's than It's like a GTR. when Evo 10 owners say my Evo 9 is like a 10. No, 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 nothing like it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, still a good, it's still a good engine, it's still a good car. Yep. Yeah. GTR prices are silly now, isn't it? Yes. So the towed alarm, it's even got a J-Tuner key ring. A magazine from back in the day. Gushing. Pinpoint precision. Yeah, something like that. Oh, that one Straight in the <laughs> <laughs> are, we, are we gonna go for it? Yeah, our plugs are out, so we're just gonna spin it over, see if we get oil pressure. Ready? Give it a go. Nice. Have <laughs> you seen that? Just uh, take the oil cap off. <laughs> yeah. Just see if you got like oil on the cam blow. Yeah. Go on. There's oil in there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Carl, what's this spoiler up, spoiler down button for? Uh, well, originally, when it had the original bumper on, which it doesn't anymore, it had a like a front splitter lip piece on electric actuators. You press the button, it goes up and down. Active aero? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. We've got to put that back. Yeah. But we changed the bumper to get a big cutout for the intercooler. We took it off. Compromised it. Yeah. You know, made it worse. I like the sound of that. I know. So, history of the car then, let's run through it quickly. Car's dad bought it 18 years ago. And We're not going to say how much for, are we? No. We'll cry. Yeah. And, um, yeah, Carl didn't want to buy it off him, so I did. Carl bought a CRV instead. <laughs> Boring. Kids won't fit in the back. <laughs> yes, they will. <laughs> they blatantly will. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. What's the plans then, dude? Calls himself a car guy. Bronze T37s. Oh, yeah. uh, lower it slightly and make it super clean. Yeah, number five is. You keep going like, oh yeah, we should make it 700 horsepower. No, I only said four. All uh, oh, right, okay, four. only four. That's the main thing, Ah, uh, I forgot that bit. And get rid of the um, because it's got the a slush box. Auto. Get rid of the uh, whatever that is. Yeah. It's all gonna go. Put steering wheel back on. I think Royal Steering Wheels, Alcantara, original steering wheel. Maybe. So we've got everything sorted apart from a dash, I think, haven't we? Yeah. And a big turbo. This is going to run and run, you know that. Honestly. <laughs> you wait for the comments. Yeah. So. <laughs> we do. Good stuff. I just want it super clean. Better keep it real clean though. But I think lowered slightly. 
But then the problem is I'm going to put 18 T37s on. The brakes look tiny. Yeah, it's, yes. it as well. it's exactly. a slippery slope, dude. So, if you think you know a thing or two about 33s, tell us what we should do. Because I haven't got a clue. I've just got a picture in my head of what it should look like. What was the big muscled up dude out of... He had one, didn't he? Yeah. Out of um, the first Fast and Furious. He had a 33, didn't he? It was a yellow one, yeah. Yeah. The Jun Hyper Lemon was the one back yeah, in the day, yeah, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. White with bronze wheels. Even Matthew likes that, don't you, mate? Yeah, white with bronze wheels. Yep. Yes, the match! Very nice. <laughs> I like Great match. success! It's a gift for me to drop these clips yeah, in there. Yeah, no, that is it. That is actually the great success. I found it the other day because I sent it on a group, didn't I? Yeah. Great success. Great success. Um, yeah, super clean. Get Jordan to put his money's worth all over it. Mm. That sounds wrong. <laughs> really wrong. <laughs> Jordan, cover me in your snow foam. Uh, it used to have a stripe all the way down the side. Like glad that's gone. Proper fast yeah. and furious yeah. No, thank you. No, it needs a Trojan. Shopping list on the door. Yeah. I'm going to say the shopping list on the door. <laughs> we could recreate that. That's coming back, that is. Yeah, we did that on Alan's car, didn't we? Neons are coming back, aren't they? Nope, yeah. not doing neons. This with, like, red neons. Oh, yeah. No. Proper. No. Uh, Matthew needs a new job if anyone's looking for a T boy. Right. Yeah, gotta get rid of the pedals. Yeah. And does anyone want a bride steering wheel? Oh, you yeah, bastard! <laughs> <laughs> That's payback. That is payback, isn't it? You did your head on the bonnet. Yeah. <laughs> Calm as a bitch. Yeah, and what do we need? We need a rear mat, don't we? Yeah, yeah. We're missing... Rear left mat. A rear left mat, but the proper Skyline Nissan Genuine Parts one. So if anyone's got one, hook me up. I need a mat. Mate, that is a front dam actuator. I love that. That is cool. You know where it goes. In the front somewhere. So put it back on. It's dirty. This is cool. Over I do. Corner. Stuff like that, mate. I want it to work. It's got a button. Button needs to work. Okay. New project and it's not an RS6. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's much better than an RS6. <laughs> wow, you're going to upset so many RS6 people. George is going to be gutted you've said that. He's always lovely to you as well. I have no idea why. <laughs> that, is, that is George ringing. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> I've upset him. Yeah. No bullshit. No bullshit. We haven't started this up. No bullshit. We have literally taken the plugs out, put oil down the bores, put fuel in it, and now it's not going to start. <laughs> that is the first start video, so whenever you see it on YouTube, but brum, it goes straight away, is bollocks. <laughs> If you crank that. Nothing. Oakley, dokely. Who's got Google? <laughs> Rad fan power windows, ABS, ABS. Rad fan inhibitor. Aircon fog lamp, rear wiper, horn, really tested fog lamp. Right, didn't think it'd be there because lamp, audio, high das, tail light, alternator, headlamp. Ah, fuel pump. Right, well, I found a fuel pump fuse, main blower ignition switch. Go on in, what are you doing? Uh, it looks like fuel pump's not prime in. Okay, and of course, to access that, you need to uh, remove the rear bench. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you caught on the white, that's it. Got it? Yep. Put it in the back of the van, mate. What is that? What is it about? Uh, 240. Yeah. Am I ain't doing the right ones. See, look, we're making it into a race car while we're here. Stripping it. <laughs> Wait, Stephen. Don't know what this pass. Back of the car, please, oh. Mitchell. There we go. I can get to the fuel pump, Carl. <laughs> That's you, Murph. There you go. Hey, simple. Oh, look! We're out! Right. Fuel pump screwings. <laughs> it blew. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> Hiya, Pat! <laughs> right, which one are we going for, Mush? This one? Right, that's three wire, so it ain't that one. And that's a two wire, so we're going for that one. So. No one brought a voltmeter, did they? <laughs> He's got one here! Here's one I found earlier. Here's one I made earlier. Buy a car that hasn't been started in seven years. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> it won't start. It won't start. <laughs> right. I don't fucking know which way around this is supposed to go, but... Yeah, voltage. Yeah. Don't want really to crank it. Or not. I mean, pump's fucked, but go on. Yeah. Electrics work. Oh! Try to plug it back in. Turn okay. it off and on again. No. Right, yeah. okay. Fuck it, let's just pull a pump out then. Is that the, the special tool This is use? the special tool for the the, removing the fuel. What, the Nismo tank. special tool yeah. for Sh removing a fuel pump? Straight from I love how you're doing this, like metal tools batteries. around two batteries <laughs> and a fuel tank. Oh, look at that. Oh, magic. I'm going to upset the, uh, the, the Jap car fanboys because if this is just a two pin pump, I've got a bosh. I've got a Bosch Motorsport pump out of a Lambo at work. I'm going to put in this. <laughs> as long as it sits in the basket, I reckon I have fucking got one of them at work, mate. Yeah. We may as well put a big one in it, haven't we? Before we put the bigger Will you shut up, man? <laughs> shut up, bruv, isn't it, yeah? We'll put two in. <laughs> Talk to right. That's it. Ready? That's probably never going to is it? No. Get rid of wheel. I can feel fuel. You know? It's gonna piss out now. Like. I, I can see fuel. Oh. Mitch, I reckon that pulls up, mate. Stick your. Pull I don't up, know. I, I don't know why you've been nominated for this, but I, it seems like a good plan. Oh, I can see <laughs> lots of rust in there. Yeah, but I think that's the. So uh, basically, remember the tank is plastic. So that must all be. That the metal you can see must be the fuel pump bracket. There's a bucket in there. Yeah. <laughs> Carl, I don't think you appropriately stored this car. Interesting. Right. This looks like the fuel pump on the GSXR that's been sat for ages. I had to do. Um, just clean, clean that fuel up. And that is 
pretty handy. Clean that up with well, the 12 volts. I was going to say, yeah, mm. stick, stick 12 volt and yeah. see what happens. Oh, yeah, because it'll spark and um, it's full of fuel. <laughs> yeah, be alright. It's out of the car. <laughs> 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 No, go back to work. I'll rebuild that. Why is there swarf on the inside of the filter? Well, it's not. It's just fucking rust everywhere, isn't it? Right. right. Yeah, it's just shit, mate. We're going to have to fucking drain. What we'll have to do is we'll have to bang it in, yeah. drain the tank. Because I'm not going to get in there. Because look at it, it's like mud. Yeah. <laughs> How much fuel did you put in? 20, 20 uh, litres. <laughs> it's all right, because I can kind of use it to swill it start around. Start the workshop heater. I'll bite off here, put in the Astra. The diesel? Yeah, Astra, mate, that car goes whatever, get, uh, anything goes in that. <laughs> She's a beast. <laughs> well, I'll just right. clean her, it'll be fine. If we... <laughs> so where are we at then, bud? Uh, fuel pumps in... Seen better days, mate. Phew. That's all right. It's easy enough to sort out. Yep. I've got a Bosch Motorsport pump. It's just literally, it's just a 12 volt pump. It's nothing fancy. So we'll go back to work tonight. I'll strip this down, get rid of the pump, chuck the bracket in the aqua blaster, clean the rest of it off. And um, we've really got to drain the tank, but for the minute, even if we get it back to the workshop, we can drain the tank and then clean the tank. But yeah, straight away, I put 20 liters in and it's just, it's like muddy water. Yeah. Um, but this is why we tell everybody when they store their cars, especially over the winter, brim the tanks. Yeah. Because the air has carries moisture, and then the inside of it sweats. The pla tank is plastic, so all that moisture has just clung to anything metal, and done that. So that'll go in a bin. I can redo the wiring. Obviously, we've got new hose at work, new clamps. So we'll keep this bit. We we'll keep that bit. I'm running through the aqua blaster tonight. Um, and give them a clean and then we can literally give that a clean but you can even see look the fittings in the top are all yeah so we just blow everything through make sure everything's clean and then we'll probably have to get another top or something and re-flush the tank but that's all right we do that tonight mint it is so not running but easy fix wow went all right got it out um got voltage at the fuel so it wouldn't start it would just spin over and over and over we had no fuel pump no fuel at the rail um pulled the plug off top of the fuel pump in the back so we pulled all the back seats out to get to cover and uh we got voltage there so we're like right okay let's pull the pump out so we pull the pump out and it's rotten it's full of water so uh i've got a bosch motorsport pump at work so i'll rebuild the carrier tonight or try to um and do that and then we'll come back drop pump in see if it's pops and bangs yeah. um, so you might have that on the end of this video or that might be a TB TBC TBA TB, is to TBA, be announced TBC? isn't it yeah. TBC so we see what's what but hope you like it I think it's gonna be cool yeah wow 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 so <laughs> smash buttons I don't even know what I did wrong because they all did it today. <laughs> so let me know what I did wrong and we'll see you on the next one. Later. <laughs> one day later. That is mental. Rude boy. That is unbelievable. That is not the same part. That's mad, isn't it? Seriously. That is insane. Mate. So it was all like that. Yeah. And now... That is ridiculous. Mental, isn't it? Yeah. A little later. Right, so the fuel pump is back in, loosely. Um, Dad will put some videos in of it running, of, of the work we did on the pump. So we have primed it. <coughs> so let's see what it does. Nothing. Is that move noise, do you think? Yes. Pumps run in. No. Oh.
rough, but wish you idle. Let's come back off the gas a little bit. May! Purrs like a kitten, Carl. What did you say? Five years is the last time we got started. Right. There you go, there's your oil coming out of cylinders. A bit of smoke. Right, let's get her warmed up. And get back to the workshop. A great success. No burnout, so you did that last time. Right, see if she moves. She moves! be the most recognizable back end ever. I like big butts and I cannot lie.